guys, welcome back to the family of three. I'm Mason. And I'm Rebecca. And I'm Jono. Today we thought we'd take you along on some of our Christmas traditions. We always like to go and check out any different Christmas displays that's going on. And so we were here in Auckland City to check out a display that's going on in here. Yeah, it's always a good reason to come out and explore your own city when sort of it's around Christmas time. There's always lots to see and do. So yeah, we've made our way into Aotea Square and then we're going to be having a look around here before making our way down Queen Street and checking out all the things that are happening around Christmas time. We're here in Aotea Square checking out the Lego Christmas display and look how good it looks behind me. Yeah, Aotea Square is really cool to come to. There's always something happening. It's one of the places in Auckland that they tend to put on free events that you can just come along and check it out. Yeah, obviously at the moment it's the Lego display that they're putting on with some bubbles and some food vendors and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's quite a happening place this close to Christmas. So yeah, we'll head on in and check it out. So it looks like they filmed the four Lego bubbles as Kiwiana things. I think we've sort of got the sports over here. We seem to have like a holiday type one, uh, birds and animals and also, I don't know what that one is, maybe just holidays, Kiwi holidays. But yeah, really cool. Uh, they're quite unique to New Zealand as well. So that's nice to check out. Okay guys, do you think you have a favorite? What's yours, Mason? Mine is the birds and animals theme. The green and blue one over there? Yes. I think mine might be the red one, even though it's not necessarily my sort of theme. I do like the red of it. Red's one of my favourite colours. I think I'm the same as Mass, and I like the one over there with all the kiwiana, like the kiwi fruit, the birds, the pūrukawa. It's so um, classic New Zealand. But I do agree with you, John. This one's quite cool with the big New Zealand um, on it. Yeah, I think it's really cool as well. They've also got like a mini fig of mummy there, Ma Rebecca. <laughs> and over here's one of Madison as well. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the chicken? No, I'm not. <laughs> Shall we keep wandering around? Yes. <laughs> is this one daddy medicine? Yes, it definitely is. <laughs> I think that's open for dispute. <laughs> So we've finished up here in Aotea Square at the uh, Christmas Lego display. It's quite cool, quite yeah. interesting and definitely worth coming out if you still, you've only got a couple of days, but if you get time to come and check it out. Yeah, so we're going to head on down to Smith & Coe's. They do a Christmas window display each year and it's always themed on a different Christmas story. So I'm not sure what the story is this year, so we're going to head on down there and check it out. Yeah, and then I think after that we're going to make our way right down the bottom of Queen Street to Britomart area and we yeah. believe they've got some stuff happening down there, so we'll check that one out as well. amazing and I love how they tell the story each year. Now they have the words underneath the window telling you the actual storyline and then they have moving figures to show us the actual story and pictures. So behind me here is where they used to have the um, Christmas Centre. He originally started up the road um, at their previous location, but yeah, moved down here with some reindeers either side. And when I say a Christmas Centre, I mean huge. It was sort of the 
the height of the building behind me there. But yeah, it sadly he's no longer coming to Auckland. They um, couldn't maintain him, so they sold him off and moved down to Wanaka. Uh, I'll show you back to some footage of that when we were down there on our Christmas holidays uh, last year. So those Aucklanders amongst us would know the Farmers Centre that lived for many, many years above the building or streets of Auckland at Christmas. Um, he now resides down here in Wanaka. They bought him um, once Auckland Council decided to get rid of him. So I believe they're currently restoring him and going to put him back to his full glory eventually when they get the finances in time. In a farmer's window display, Legos actually build many versions of the Lego bubbles. made our way down to Lower Queen Street. This is the Britomart area of Auckland. Um, there's lots of things happening. We passed a few like a marching band and sort of just different window displays that are really christmas fied all in the Lego theme this year. Uh, but yeah, we're now outside the Bobbles and also there's like another display down further that we're gonna go and check out as well. So yeah, join us as we have a bit of a look around. this Christmas display they also have a bunch of seats which are exact replicas of the Christmas decoration shapes that are part of the Christmas setup. Yeah so they have things like a candy cane, a star, a tree and loads of other different shapes all around here for sitting. Yeah, the pavilion has been set up as part of like the Christmas atmosphere down here. At night it all lights up on top with the different displays as well, all doing different things. And then they can use it as a staging area for all performances to happen as well. So yeah, this has been a really cool place as well to have in December. So we picked up some Starbucks drinks, me and Mason got the peppermint one and I think Jono got the gingerbread one. I don't think any of us have tried that one so it'll be interesting to see if it's any good. But no, we've had a really nice time wandering all around town. But um, we're about to go off and get some dinner and then in the evening we're going to head to Franklin Road and check out all the fairy lights down there and we'll bring you along as well. Mm, quite nice, quite a strong gingerbread taste. How's yours going, Mason? Mine is delicious. So we've made our way across to Franklin Road now. Uh, we're going to go for a bit of a walk up there, but the weather's not looking the best. It's just turned just recently, and it's even possibly going to be some thunder and lightning tonight. So yeah, we're going to take our umbrellas with us just in case. But yeah, hopefully we get a good walk in before it starts to really open up. So yeah, we'll head on up and have a bit of a look at what's happening out there. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Hey, we're definitely glad we got our umbrellas, it's constantly drizzling as we go up. Um, it's been quite cool some of the places we've seen so far. We're heading on up. It's not quite dark yet as we wanted to get some footage on the camera so we've come a bit early. So Franklin Road, um, they turn on their lights at 7.30. I think that goes to 10, I'm not sure though. Um, but yeah, it's such a great community event and all the homes all put on fairy lights for all of us to walk up and down the street.
Wisconsin Big Road at the very top of Franklin Road and so far it's been really cool and I've loved all the fairy lights. But now we're going to head on to the other side and see what they have in store for us. down both sides of Franklin Road and um, it has been constantly drizzling the whole time we're actually getting wet at the moment but yeah it's, it's still a few people out uh, people are braving it because there's been a really really wet December so there yeah. hasn't actually been that many great opportunities to come out and explore Franklin Road but yeah it's, it's good to see it's I don't think it was here last year no or... it was no last two years I don't think yeah it was. they the, because basically Franklin Road is obviously run by the residents, all the residents put on the lights. So yeah, they all agreed the last couple of years just with COVID not to do it, just to discourage people gathering together. But yeah, it's really fantastic to have it back again. Yeah, it is. It's been so nice because it's a um, family tradition. We go every year. So it's been really enjoyable to be back. Yeah, so thanks for coming along with us. And can you please like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.